Hello and welcome. In this quick video, I will show you how OnePlan allows users to manage and roll up a collection of project plans from both the new Project for the Web and Project Desktop into a portfolio with Microsoft Teams. Let's get started. Here I begin in Microsoft Teams. I'm on the Portfolio tab, and I'll click the Expand button to get better visibility. The portfolio provides visibility across all the various plans in my organization. These may be different types of projects, epics, plans, or others. And right from this view, I have multiple analysis and decision assisting tools available. I can view the financials of these plans to see budget and other types of spending. And I can apply targets to further analyze my spending. I can view resource plans. This allows me to assess if we are overburdening our resources and when. I can also prioritize my portfolio based on other business specific criteria. And I can see that these various projects are being managed from a variety of execution tools for scheduling and the details of the work assignments. I can see which tool based on the corresponding icon. Here is Project Desktop and Project for the Web. These projects have their own teams associated to them. There may also be a project following a hybrid method executed both with Azure DevOps or JIRA along with Project, or just an agile managed project such as this one using Azure DevOps. Next, I will create a new project. I see I have multiple types available and I will select Enterprise Project for its template and settings. I'll name this project Financials Migration and then click Add Plan and can complete all the necessary details about this new project, such as the goals, priority, business unit, and any other details necessary. For this demonstration, I'll bypass entering additional details and go to the work plan grid. This is where I can build out my plan or connect to another execution tool. These are my connected systems. To build out my schedule or task plan, I can utilize the Office 365 Planner, Project Professional, or now the new Project for the Web. I will create a new item in Project for the Web for this project and click Connect. Here I see my progress status as it works to create a new project instance on Project for the Web. Once finished creating the project on the back end, I click Open Item. This opens Project for the Web in a new browser window tab. I have my financials migration project environment. Now I will build out my plan. Here are some examples of some tasks. I will assign resources to these tasks, such as Daniel, or I may add others to my project. Once they're connected to the group, I can assign tasks to them. I will also set the durations. Here I may add columns such as the start and finish of each task. And I can select my tasks and then link them as dependencies. Here, this is a basic schedule, but it is done. Now I'll go back to Teams. With my project still open, I click Synchronize. The sync happens automatically on a periodic basis, but this also allows me to do syncing on demand. Now, while in my work plan page, I will reselect the grid to refresh the page, and this will pull in the data from Project for the Web into my one plan grid. And here I see my schedule of tasks. 
If I want to build out my resource plan for this project, I open the resource plan page and then click import. Here I see how my resources are being committed and if they are being over allocated. If I want to see where else these resources are being used, I open the resource pane and here I can see where else my resources are working. I can see, for example, that Daniel is being utilized across several projects. I may want to also go to my financial plan and update the financials. Here I will import the resource plan, hours converted to costs, into my project budget. And here are my labor costs based on my schedule that I just built in Project for the Web. Daniel is a project manager and Kono is a developer. Now that I have visibility into my labor costs, I can also enter my non-labor costs, such as travel, these next couple months, and perhaps also software. This gives me my full picture of my project budget. Now I've completed the cycle. In review, I created a new project. I then used Project for the Web to build out the project plan or schedule, which I brought back into OnePlan. Then I was able to build out my resource plan and the level of effort needed for my resources, and then also the financial plan, which included the labor costs based on that schedule. Now I'll go back to the portfolios page. Here I see my new project and all the key details listed. Here I may further analyze and prioritize this project along with the others for my organization. And here I see it's connected to Project for the Web.